It's now been 10 days since the University of Utah student vanished. This is what we know so far. She boarded a plane at LAX, flew to Salt Lake City. Surveillance photos show her at Salt Lake City International Airport on June 17th, where her plane landed at 1.35 a.m. She texted her mother just after 2 a.m. when she had arrived. Police say she then booked a ride, a ride through Lyft. That Lyft driver dropped Lewick off at Hatch Park in North Salt Lake, where witnesses say she got into another vehicle. After days of silence, a move on Mackenzie's Instagram account. This happened yesterday. It suddenly followed a page called Fatherless, and that is what led police to a home in Fair Park. The owner of that house now being called a person of interest in the case. And we have team coverage tonight, Brittany Johnson and Nick McGurk joining us live with the latest. But we begin with Nick, who's been gathering information on this homeowner and person of interest. Nick. Emily, this is the home, and the homeowner is the person of interest. According to Salt Lake City Police, this is where they were serving that search warrant last night. It was cordoned off. Now the crime tape is gone, but we can tell you, police really need your help. They are asking for any tips about a mattress and box spring that were posted online for free. Police say somebody picks the, picked the mattress and box spring up, and they want to talk to that person. Tonight, we talked to a private investigator who has his theory on what happened. She was a lighthearted, um, bubbly person, full of adventure. Three weeks before Mackenzie Lewick disappeared, private investigator Rob Joseph randomly met the University of Utah student at a downtown bar. I became aware that Mackenzie's the girl that went missing. For Joseph, her disappearance became a personal quest to find out what happened. I believe this was her first contact with this guy. Joseph, a former Salt Lake City police officer, has been uncovering leads since Monday, when ABC4 was the first to tell you about a website Lewick had a profile on called Seeking Arrangements. I think he wanted to take her away from his home, take suspicion off himself. He is the person of interest in this case. We aren't naming him, but with police confirming they served a warrant at this home and saying the homeowner is the person of interest, Here's Rob Joseph's working theory on why Mackenzie Lewick might have met the man at North Salt Lake's Hatch Park. The guy that owns the house, the guy that's the person of interest, lived across the street from that park in 2016 and was evicted from that residence. And that's public record. If he was premeditated in his interest to do this, he would have picked that park, had her meet him there and then he would have drove to his house with her. So that way there was no way to trace him from the drop-off point at the park to his home. And again, that is Rob Joseph's take on what he thinks happened, possibly shedding light on why Mackenzie Lewick would have met at that park, Hatch Park, around 3 a.m. on June 17th. So much evidence was seized from the home behind me. I'm told a lot of that is going to be processed. Rob Joseph saying it's very likely uh, DNA evidence, forensics work. A lot of that is happening behind the scenes now. That does take time. If we get any information, of course, we're going to update you. ABC4.com. Live near Rose Park, I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News. Thank you, Nick.